Righto, how are things going? We're back with drifting and SLRR. Um, budget drifting and SLRR. How are everything? Oh, my car, poor, my poor car. I don't want to sell these things. My poor car looks very nice. Looks very, very nice. Look at this thing. It goes sideways very quickly. And it goes... It really doesn't do anything else except going sideways really quickly. But it do be like that sometimes, right? We need we need tail lights. We need tail lights for this car uh, because I lost him on a tow yay in Japan with my uh, Lotus Carlton. That's just inappropriate and frankly a bit autistic. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm fucking I'm gonna act like that. It's not there. All right. We got anything else? Anything cooler? A bit of cooler tail lights? Old do not use. Lotus Carlton Racing headlights. Yeah, that's alright. I just want cool tail lights. Right. No tail lights. That's just fine, I guess. I guess that's fine. What is was there in uh, miscellaneous or oh, shit? Oh yes. Nothing, apparently. Alright, okay, now there are a few things. Parachutes, flashers, plates. I'm not particularly interested in these things. Unless there's like a. We need an English plate, right? Because, you know, it's a Lotus Carlton. What is this? Be I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. You know, that's what that is. D E. Oh, oh man. I just realized just how annoying plates are, and I was like, it's probably not worth it. And I realize it's really not worth it. Corvette, oh nice, we can put a cor Corvette wing on my car. Spoiler form formula drift. <coughs> These are the most ridiculous spoilers. Oh, GoPro, let's buy a GoPro. Why not? Tuned. Is there anything interesting for this car? Although I'm very happy with how it looks. Right, we need to scroll through 50,000 parts for 50,000 different cars. I'm not, I'm not interested in doing that. So, um, first of all, we need the tail lights installed back. You see these ridiculous wings? Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god, how good looking is that? Oh, wow, amazing. <laughs> Um, damn. Alright, so, um, oops. Let's just all that. We cannot install a GoPro. How sad. How sad. Can we sell these? Because I don't want to see them in my, uh, in my thing. Right, so. Let's go and check out what kind of good car we can buy. Just, you know, I'm going to have a look every episode. Maybe buy a car, maybe not. We don't know. Maybe I'll go fucking tune my Clio. That's still my daily, right? My Clio is still my daily. I've got a few cars. I've forgotten about my cars. I've got the, S the LSS S13. That still was that was a good car. All things considered, that was a good car. The Audi, not so much though. The Audi really was not made to be drifted. I think that's obvious though, considering it's a small, very small oil drive car. Okay, we got a 3.4, but as much as I love three fours, it's really not. It's really not a drift car. We got an M3, another one, fifty-seven thousand dollars CSL. How much money do I have? Do I even know? I don't have enough money, so I can't even buy it. It's stupid. Are these not the same cars from last time? I guess they probably are. Oh, okay. Right. Well, let's go and do a nice slidey on a place on home let's go back to home shinjuku three laps of shinjuku that is home this is where we were born all right this is where everything began did you see the engine spawn in there that was pretty cool though i guess nothing else is uh, loading right <laughs> Oops, kind of forgotten what's... Oh, no. Yeah, this car does have a lot of wheel spin. I 
At least the sounds good. I really like how the car sounds. I love that I have to go into fourth gear. Okay. Not as well timed as I uh, hoped. Oh, I, f I forgot to fix the rear uh, the rear equipment. That actually affects the game. That actually affects the drifting. So uh, we might be a bit worse for wear right now. We, we don't have a wider a wider stance. We have less grip essentially. At least that's how it would work in real life. This game doesn't always uh, follow real life rules. But you know, I'm not expecting it to. Okay. You know what? I want to do a proper FD spec car, right? FD1, oh, it's me, you know? Pro 1. FD spec car, to be honest. What car are you, which car should I try and look for, guys? Which car should I look for for a proper FD spec car? Like, I want it to be like road cage, everything. Mad angle, mad power, NOS. Which car, you, you guys have played this game, which car should I look for for a pro FD spec car? Because that'd be fun. I want to do a pro pro FD build. Because this build, like, this build is done. Like, this car looks good and drifts good. There's not a lot I can do with this. There's just not a lot I can do with, uh, with this, except just drifting. I mean, this, this is how we make money. So, uh, yeah. This car is good at that. But that's about it. Oh! That was, again, not well thought out. I think we've got damage on the rear end, though. Yeah, by the looks of it. By the looks of it, the rear end, the rear tire is a bit tilted. That's fine, we can finish the run. Unlike real life, uh, there's no consequences to finishing the run. Like, completely destroying everything. Honestly, this car has like the proportions of a chaser. I think that's what makes this such a good shift car. It's a long ass sedan, like. And it just fucking works. It's not a chaser vibes, you know? They call them chaser vibes. Ooh. Jump. If we can get a bit more wheel speed, though, that would be great. Hitting the brake really was not the best idea, it seems. I gotta use the higher gears sometimes, it seems. I'm modulating the throttle, I'm, not, I'm almost never going full throttle. With the hopes of just getting more wheel speed out of the car. So we can drift a bit faster. Because we've been snailing around. This is compared to the... So the Audi is much slower, although the Audi barely drifted, so you know, that's the difference. Ah, I wouldn't call that good. Although it's 70, third gear really gets unstable. Ooh, that was close to the wall. Oh yeah. Good. I think 
it's well established. This car is just very good at drifting. Oops. There we go. There we go. All right. Pretty cool. Oh, again in this corner. Let's get some speed going. Yes, yeah, it's, it's almost 70 is pretty good. Yeah, I'm definitely not happy with the, the car speed though, but all in all, it's a pretty good car, this. It really does everything so well, except that I fucking destroyed it into a wall. Mm, twice, three times, I don't know. Let's get it fixed though. $5,000, we we made $8,000 on the on the drift, and we spent eight four thousand to fix it. Maybe I should just not crash the car so often, but... Oops. Minus 65, yes, make it wide. Yes, wide stance, wide body. This thing, just look at how happy it looks, man. I don't know. But but yeah, that's gonna do it for today, guys. Um if you have any suggestions on what kind of FD car I should build, please give them. As you can see, we will need them. Uh because this car is done. But thank you for watching, I shall see you in the next one.